I want to talk about the one thing. Maybe it's not the only thing, but it's the one thing for sure that DC does better than Marvel. And I didn't want to reveal it in the title because I wanted people to actually listen to what I have to say here. The one thing that I believe DC has been doing better than Marvel probably since at least the 90s, at least since I was a child. For as long as I can remember firsthand, DC has been killing the game in the field of animation, especially animated films. Now, for me, this all started with Batman the Animated Series, and the 90s brought some great animated series for Marvel as well. We had the X-Men, which I feel like that X-Men series was revolutionary in terms of bringing comic books into the mainstream. In fact, I think that series, and and probably the Batman series as well, but I think a big part of the reason comic book films have become so pop culture now is thanks to Batman, or is thanks to X-Men, the animated series. And you may say, yes, but there was also Spider-Man, the animated series, and Fantastic Four, and the Incredible Hulk, and, and, you know, Batman, the animated series, and Superman Adventures. Yes. I feel like Marvel brought more kids into the comic book space than ever before. That's why we had the huge comic book boom in the 90s. I believe that 100%. And it was a great show. But in terms of storytelling, in terms of not making something cheesy, in terms of a serious Batman, one of the best things we've ever gotten is Batman the Animated Series. And I think that started it all. With the exception of X-Men and the... I think it was 1994 or 1995 Spider-Man animated Fox series. I think DC has been superior to Marvel in terms of animated storytelling ever since. When they made a film following the characters from Batman the Animated Series, when they made Batman Mask of the Phantasm, is when I think it really started. DC's domination of the animation space. And I guess this would be, really would be Warner Brothers animation, right? But I I, I don't, for me, I don't love everything Warner Brothers animation has done. Sure, in the 90s, they had some great, great cartoons that to this day still hold up. Fantastic cartoons. Warner Brothers put out. But there's something special about the DC-based Warner Brothers animated features. They've been doing it so well, and especially in the past, I'd say, decade or so. Everything they do is fantastic. I think it's actually helped to shape me into a DC fan. Definitely more of a Batman fan. If it wasn't for the animated series when I was a kid and Mask of the Phantasm and then some of the animated films I have seen over the past decade, I don't think I would be as into Batman as I am. Or any of the Batman family, which is what I'm mostly into when it comes to DC. But one thing that I absolutely love about the way DC brings the source material to life is that when they do it, it's not only for people who have never read the comics, right? It is for people who love the source material because not only do they bring the same feel to life, not only do they make it seem like 
you're watching an animated comic book put to film. They change the stories just enough, just enough to even keep the hardcore comic book heads guessing. Over the past few years, I've, I've been watching and re-watching a lot of the DC animated films. Uh, Justice League films. Um, I watched uh, Flashpoint Paradox. I watched uh, Injustice. Um, I watched Batman The Killing Joke. I watched Batman Death in the Family. Um, Hush. Uh, and The Long Halloween, which I think is, is one of the best things that's come out in recent years. And all of these change the story just a little bit. So as to still make it just as fun and intriguing for people who have been reading the comics and know the stories already. As it is for somebody coming in and, and hearing the story for the first time. And I don't know, I just, I've been wanting to spill my guts about this in a podcast for a long time, just to just pour out my love for the DC animated films. And like I said, I would, I would say Warner Brothers animation, but it's more than that. It is specifically the DC stuff that I think is, oh man, it's just, it's so much better than the stuff that Marvel has been putting out in terms of animated features. Now, M Marvel has put out a few animated movies through the years. Um, definitely had a lot of animated series through the years. And I just think, I think the the DC stories and the DC animation, it just, it takes, it takes the material a little more seriously. And it's, it's a lot truer to the source material in, in a lot of ways. But I, I just love how it comes across. I love the animation. I love the style of animation. Uh, and no matter who they choose as artists, they just always seem to make the right choices when it comes to animation. Now, I can't speak to the films. I personally think Marvel is far superior to DC in terms of films. Um, but that don't. I'm not a DC hater. I'm not a Warner Brothers uh, live action hater. I actually really enjoy the Snyderverse and a lot of the stuff has been coming out recently. Uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad uh, really enjoyed Peacemaker. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of DC films. But they're hit and miss. Let's be real. Even if you were a fan of the DC films, you'd be lying if you say that you love every single one of their live action properties. You're lying. It's hit and miss. Whereas I think Marvel has a lot better track record of putting out awesome stuff, at least in the past 20 years. Of like, putting out solid content. But man, when it comes to animation, I feel like DC blows Marvel away. Anyway, that's my take on it. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I know a lot of people uh, probably agree with this. I, I'm not... Um, this isn't a hot take, per se. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people who love, like, X-Men the Animated Series, which, like I said, I loved as well, and still love, um, and Spider-Man, and, and all the stuff that came out in the 90s, and, and since then, the early 2000s with X-Men Evolution, uh, Wolverine and the X-Men in the, in the mid 20, what, 2010s. Um, great stuff, great stuff, but I just think it doesn't hold a candle to what DC has done in the field of animation over the past, like I said, it, I, especially the last decade, but it, but definitely e even more so over the last 30 years, ever since Batman the Animated Series, I feel like they have been better than Marvel. Anyway, that's my take. Like I said, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at RealBrettScott. Let me know what you think. Um, I apologize for the background noise. I have to record at work sometimes while I'm driving. Uh, so it is what it is. But thank you for listening. If you enjoy stuff like this where I talk about pop culture, uh, entertainment, 
movies, TV, books, just basically all the nerdy, geeky stuff that I'm interested in. If you enjoy that sort of thing as well, please subscribe to the channel. I try to put out something daily. I'm not perfect, but I, as much as I can, uh, at least a few videos a week. Uh, and if you're interested in further comic book content, specifically, uh, or not comic book, but comic book based content, specifically, you can check out my podcast, Marvel Plus, where I cover the Disney Plus Marvel series week to week, episode by episode. So yeah, go check that out. Subscribe to Daily BS and favorite and follow the podcast Daily BS. And if you do stick around and subscribe or favorite or follow, then I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.